Morning, everyone. I um, hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday. I think today's Saturday. It is Saturday. Um, yes, just want to say hi. And um, we're going to do some DIY. Why I? Yes, DIY. <laughs> Anyways, DIY um, styling with Nina today. And we just call her and she needs to pick up. But anyways, um, we're going to do, do some pony, what is she? Um, different types of ponytails and something that, you know, you can do at home and stuff like that. So, hey! Oh, look at that gorgeous curls. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. For the most part, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Good, so, good. good. <laughs> I love your curls. You look Thank so you. good. Hi, Thank Italy. Oh, all Hello, these everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, Shinji. I'm going to turn this around real quick. Okay. Oh, oh, cool. That's my so, little setup. Are we doing ponytails today, right? Yeah. Ponies cool. with a braid. So, this is my model. <laughs> oh, very cool. Very cool. What's her name? I, well, she doesn't have one on her. So, I named her <laughs> Sasha because I think she looks like a Sasha. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's your very model's nice. name? Very nice. <laughs> oh, very nice. And I'm doing Vanessa. I think nice. Vanessa has such gorgeous hair. And she has a lot of hair. And this is a wave that we we did a couple weeks ago, I think. So I just let it sit, and you know, it's good for like someone who has you know hair that they haven't washed in a while. So you know, this is this is why I think is good for not um, smoothing it out and just let it be. Yeah, so my, what kind of, my what mom kind of has... are you doing? Let's I'm describe. Gonna do, yeah, I'm going to do um, like a low tousled ponytail with some braids in it. Okay. Simple though, really easy. Yeah, I something think. that they can do at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can no, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing... <laughs> I'm copying you. No, I'm doing a mid pony. Kind of okay. like to here. Okay. Okay. And then I want to have some 90s pieces coming out. Nice. Like this. I love it already. Yeah. Because Amanda's here has some pieces like that. So I'm like, I'm just going to copy Amanda. <laughs> yeah, it's in. <laughs> Sorry, Vanessa. She knows. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. And then I'm just going to take these pieces here and leave them out like this. Okay. Okay. And then I'm kind of like showing you guys how to do it really quickly without doing it. So, and then ponytail this high, like mid pony, like this. Okay. And then, you know, wrap this and then braid this and wrap around it. So it <gasps> hides. Cute. Uh, I love um, it. And then leave these as is because, you know, because they're cool. Yeah, they're so nice. I'll put this down. Can you see her? Can you see me better, by the way? Today? I can't see it at all, but I can see the uh, I can okay. see it all head. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that's, to see you. That's what's important, you know? <laughs> How are you doing, Nina? I miss you. I'm doing very well. I miss you, too. I miss uh, everybody. And I'm hoping that the May 15th um, thing is going to stick and it's not going to go further. What do you think? I don't know. I know. I don't know. We do know <clears throat> New York and San Francisco extended their lockdowns. Until when? At June so far. Oh, gosh. Dude, well, we can do month. more of these. <laughs> 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 we can do more DIY for everyone at home. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But All we right. are going to go. I want to see you in Austin, in Texas. Yes. In June. Yes, can't wait. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot wait either. So, all right. <laughs> Your hometown. Let's talk to you. So, how are you going to do yours? You can explain it while I'm getting ready. Okay, so my model, Sasha, um, I'm going to bring it closer for you guys. So, she's previously waved. Um, I'm just going to dampen her just a little bit and spray the sea salt texture spray on her wave just to give her a little extra texture um, and then diffuse it to make it a little more PC and like beachy. So that's what the first step. Cool. Yeah. And she has pretty long hair, long layers. I trimmed her yesterday because she was new, but um, 
this style that I got the inspo from was on pretty long hair. Um, so her hair is not quite as long, but hopefully you guys can get the idea. Yeah, I, I think people will because not everyone has the idea, ideal hair, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, and someone's wondering if your doll head has real or synthetic hair. Oh, real hair. Yeah, real. Real, real, real. Has to. Real, real. <laughs> For real, real. Real, real. For real, real. No, real. <laughs> Welcome, I'm not, everybody. I'm okay. Welcome. I'm not losing it. I promise. <laughs> you didn't drink too much matcha this morning. <laughs> I might have too much coffee this morning, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I haven't had any coffee yet. Uh, I'm I need coffee. <laughs> it's like my commute is so far. I need coffee. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just to the other room. <laughs> exactly. So Even though I'm late, sometimes I'm lazy. Like sometimes I sleep on my couch just because I'm like, oh, oh is it so comfortable? Bedroom. <laughs> Such an inconvenience that traffic to the bedroom. I know. <laughs> so this is my front piece. I leave out. Okay. What do you call these? Face frame? Face yeah. framing pieces. pieces. Front how tail. did you determine how much to take out? How did I determine? Um, what does your parting look like? My parting looks like this. Um, it depends. I mean, sometimes if someone has like a really, you know, severe hairline that goes for the back, then I would do more of this kind of feel, you know, um, just to fill in the gap a little bit more because just like that one, you know? So therefore it, it seems a little bit more fuller and, 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 and someone has thin hair, I would do that. Um, but if, if someone has a really far back hairline, then if I go, like this, the disconnection from here and here, it'd just be too far. Whereas hers, Vanessa, she has like, you know, doll head hairline, so it's not too bad, you know? So that's why. It all depends. If I want it more dramatic, I'll probably do a little bit of a piece, so it depends on look. There's no really right or wrong. Wrong. Right or wrong. Just be <laughs> right or wrong. <laughs> Sorry, my English gets in my way. Okay, so now that's separated. I'm gonna take out these sections right here that would determine the braids. And then the thing is like, it doesn't have to be perfect because you wanna do this on yourself. So it's, you know, I just wanna make sure that I cover about that much. Okay, so like an inch or so, you know? And the length is about like maybe two inches, okay? And just, just something a little bit more substantial. I so I love the fact that it's previously waved. So, I mean, you can definitely do this on straight hair, for sure. Yeah, but the picture that I got info from actually was very sleek and straight. And I really liked that too, but then... I was like, oh, it's summer coming up. I kind of want to do something more like easy and textured. So yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, both ways would be super cute. I like, I like both. Nina, someone was wondering yeah. what kind of blow dryer you were using. Oh, I was using the Dyson blow dryer um, with the diffuser attachment on low heat and low speed. Um, after I wet it down and sprayed a little bit of the sea salt texture spray from Milbon. Just to give it a little more PCness to her previously waved hair. All so right. now I'm, yeah. No, you go, girl. <laughs> so now I'm going to section out um, <laughs> the front sections first. So I just took it from the top of the head to the top of the ear. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'm going to work with the back first and um, secure the ponytail, and then we'll move to the front. Sweet. <clears throat> yeah. Easy. Hopefully you can see. So the great thing about working with previously style hair or dirty hair is that it has a lot of grit. So yeah. if I'm working with this hair from start, like someone, it's like if it's really um, fresh, then I would 
definitely get a lot more grip. And the hair previously had uh, dry texturing, um, texturizing spray from Melbourne. And it has like, quite a bit of it in there, so I don't really need to put in the, um, any more. Um, so it has, definitely has a grit in it. So, um, you know, I just want to make sure that it does. And then I'm not making a really sleek ponytail. I'm just making it a little more textured. So, you know, I don't mind if there's a little bumps and grooves because I want to pull them out anyways. Yeah. And she has a lot of hair, Vanessa. And I'm using an Ibiza brush. Really love these because it has one of these things, needles? <laughs> yes, needles. <laughs> and the needles are quite long, so it's like really gets in, in between the hair and it really combs the hair really nicely. So, and then you wanna make sure that you get this part nice and tight. I mean, if I were to work on someone, I wouldn't keep them this high, but just for visual reasons so you guys can see what I'm doing. I just have to put it up this high. Those are bristles. <laughs> bristles? <laughs> right? Bristles, yes. They're not needles. <laughs> needles they, feel, they feel like it when you put it or when you grab it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. And it goes between your, um, your, your nail. nails. Your nails. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. All right. Someone has question either you can answer this um how does the Melbourne sea salt spray differ from other sea salt sprays um i like it because i can use it on my curls and it gives it like a i don't know like a salty texture but it's not drying but then i can also use it if i wave out the hair like i just did and it's it's wet but it's not super wet um and it's not super sticky which i find in a lot of other sea salt sprays. I agree. I just had to move her off the screen, guys. So I'm just gonna <laughs> grab one of these bungees. Um. Haha. -ha, I, <laughs> I do agree because it has um. It has a good um. It's very flexible, so it's versatile yeah. in the sense of like it's not too sticky, you know. I'm just going through my fingers just because I do want the texture. And again, I'm gonna, I would do this a lot lower. So this is a little high, so I have to make sure that you guys can see. And then I have these little bungees right here, which I love and dig. So it has a hook on one end and a hook on the other end. So you want to make sure that you hook it in, wrap it, hold it with your fingers, wrap it, and then Hook it back on the other side. And snatched. Snatched. <laughs> if I were to snatch her, I would do in two sections. Maybe I would do, like, to yeah. take it, like, I mean, she, her hair is pretty, she'll be, like, really, like, you know, sleep to the side. Um, so funny, when I was in um, Paris with, um, what you want to call it? Camilla. She's so funny. Camilla Alejo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's, <you. laughs> she's so she's so beautiful. She's Brazilian and she's um she is. Funny. So we always have to, we have to snatch her a couple of times. It's so much fun. She's like pull it, pull it hard. She's like rip my face off. Seriously. <laughs> like wow, that feels tight. So it was good. It was fun. Um, someone's asking if you can use a sea salt spray as a second day curl refresher. Yeah, I think you could, as long as it's you don't already have too, too much product on your hair and you're happy with, you know, it's not too frizzy. I think you could, especially with wavy hair. Mm, yeah, I, right? I love that too. What do you think? But I also love this, this refresher. Yeah. Nina, it bomb it. because it's a mousse and it helps to form the waves and it just, it's, it, without being so greasy, it's just like really, really good for like um, your hair is all fuzzy and frizzy the next day. And yeah, I agree. Fun. So it's really great for that. Um, everyone's wondering Me? where you got your bungees. Me? Yeah. 
Where did we get him? <laughs> Do you remember? I don't remember. I, I, probably from Glamour Beauty, or I think that's where we buy most of our stuff now. I, I don't remember. There is, I'm um, so sorry. I mean, I didn't order them. Um, I think I'm Amanda or um, okay, Natalie so ordered them. I know about this website called Session Kit, and it oh. has um, a lot of really good just like little hair products on that. You should check it out. It's like every hairdresser's like favorite thing from like each company. And I know those bungee cords are on it. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a, uh, a rat tail comb. <laughs> I'm gonna update you guys on what I'm doing. Um, so I've secured the back section into just a rubber band, regular rubber band. Uh, it's another smaller rubber band. And I'm leaving quite a bit of the ends out. So. Um, if you have longer hair, it's even like kind of prettier because it's, I don't know, it trails down. I thought it was super cute. All right, so I'm gonna start these braids. So I'm just gonna do um, Dutch braids. So if you were to do this on yourself, of course you'd be facing this way because you're gonna be pulling your hair on the side and braid this way. So that's what I'm mimicking, okay? And then we're gonna do three. Oh, we're gonna do like fishtail. Oh, mm. I do fishtail and you do, what are you doing? What, are you doing a French braid or? Just normal braid, regular. Cool. So yeah. I'm gonna do fish braid. Okay. Fishtail, fish braid. Fish. <laughs> so you split in half, okay? And you take the outer, move in to the middle. Okay, and you take the, the outer of the, okay, and then you repeat this all the way through, okay? And I, of course, I just cut my fingernails. <gasps> oh, that's good. No, that's not good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to pick up. <laughs> oh, I'm dying on, I'm dying without getting my nails done. It's so hard to do hair with short nails. <laughs> it is, but... I'm now I'm just gonna go so I don't have to repeat this with you guys but um, somebody is wondering if Melvin is available for non-professionals well it depends on what salon you go to so if you have a salon that carries it then they will definitely sell it to you um, and now that you can call this number on their website they will help you get the products. So I would say visit Melbourne. Can we get that? Can we get the address? It's melbourne-usa.com. Yes. And then there's a phone number that you can call on there and you can order products through them. Yes. So I'm just repeating the same thing over and over and over. And I'm keeping this not too tight because I don't want it to be too small and skinny. So I am gonna pull this out a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. And also trying to keep this even. Unlike me, I'm not really keeping it even, but like, there you go. Ah, oh, I wish I didn't cut my fingernails, but I hate long fingernails on me. I'm just like, <laughs> not a fan. Um, for okay. Those who missed it, the website is melbourne-usa.com. Spell it. L. <laughs> wait, wait. I can't spell. <laughs> M i l b o n dash u s a. Can you, <laughs> can you put it into the comment? Yes. Spell win. <laughs> wait. Have you guys ever seen Stranger with Candies? Oh my God, it's so funny. What's it called? Stranger with Candy. Oh my oh. God, you guys should watch it. It's called Stranger with Candy with um, Amy Sedaris. And Amy Sedaris is so funny. She's such a, a funny, 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 funny person. She's so cool. Is it on Netflix? Um, I don't know. I, I have to look it up. Yeah. Nina, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to redo the braids because I. I skipped my step. <laughs> but anyways, 
So what I was doing is um, I took the front sections and I just kind of loosely twisted them back. The first one I clipped while I did the second one um, and I met them underneath. Oh, I don't know if you can see this little baby ponytail. I just met them underneath and ponytailed that to secure it and it kind of just hides your, your ponytail. I think it's a little bit easier for at home than um, the pin trick, which I'll do at the end, but that's if you want to try it. <laughs> the what? The pin trick where you um, oh, yes. do two pins and slip it through. Yes. So I'm going to do that at the end of my ponytail. You're so fancy. So fancy. I was trying really to make it more simple. Why do I have to make everything complicated? <laughs> That's you. I need to finish the whole thing because you don't need to. Life of a Libra. It Libras. really is. So extra. Yeah, extra. <laughs> okay, just leave this. Okay. It's kind of like, you know, Obi-Wan. Jedi braid. Jedi, Jedi braid. Ooh, hell yeah. And it kind of gave up. I'm like, oh, I'm yes. wasting my time. So I this time I, you know, have to video and do all these things and, you know, do my homework. And then from this time, this time I get to play video games. And I'm like, I waste about like maybe two, three hours a day playing video games. I'm like, why am I doing that? So I decided to like, go ahead and just read books. Oh, so, that's so. nice. What have you been? <laughs> what have you been reading? I'm trying to finish this book on the the Dalai Lama. Oh jeez. Um, I know. It's Heavy reading. <laughs> no, that's good. I'm. It's not bad. I'm saying, wow. <laughs> I, you know, I wish I had the. <laughs> I tried to start reading Jane Austen, and I it was very hard for me. Who? Oh? <laughs> Jane Austen. She's like a very oh. old. Uh, Pride and Prejudice. Do you remember that movie? Yes. Yeah. It's very Love hard to read. <laughs> Nina, someone's asking if you undid your first braid. I did. Um, not because it was only because I skipped a step. So sorry, I just practiced this once yesterday. Um, so instead of braiding it first, you should bring the front sections back first and secure them underneath with a ponytail and then braid that little uh, section of the front into these braids so it gets hidden. Does that make sense? Right. Cool. Oh, that looks cool. I'm just, I just loosened up my pony. I mean, not my pony, my braids. That's what just I'm doing. Just loosened up my button. Just kidding. <laughs> so I'm just pulling it out. And I, before that, I add some dry texturizing spray. And it doesn't have to be like perfect. I just want to make sure that I have a little bit more texture going on. So it covers my um, rubber band. And I'm pulling out my braids as well. Um, I think if, it's the, if you do this more straight and sleek, it would be nice to have the braids just nice and tight. Um, but since this is textured, I'm just pulling them out a bit. So it's kind of like bubbly and poofy. <laughs> poofy. 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 All right, now I want to take these guys like this. So that's my pony, okay? Bring this around and just wrap it. Okay, um, I wouldn't worry about this much, this part so much. I want to pin this out so it won't show any kind of like weird hairline right here. So take that and then Wrap this around. Okay. And then I'm going to take a hairpin because I don't want to bobby pin it yet until I get it right. Or maybe I should bobby pin whatever you want. But like, I think her hair would be fine without just like bobby pin it as first. I'm just going to clip this so I can show you guys. Hold up. Hold up. There you go. So this is where this ends. So I'm gonna put this under here and tuck it into this part. Okay, and then I'm gonna pin upwards, but make sure that 
the hair will stick out. And then now I take a bobby pin. Why are they called bobby pins? Did Baba used to use them? <laughs> they used to use them for bobs in the 20s. Uh, oh my God, you're so smart. To pin it. <laughs> I just learned that. I'm not that smart. Really? Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Don't Nina. Credit yourself. Yeah, I just learned <laughs> that. Jeez, Nina, you're so smart. <laughs> that's why they use bobby pins. Yeah. I thought it was super cute. Okay. Um, the website we were talking about for the bungees, by the way, was called Session Kit. Okay. I know you're not supposed to do this. Oh, especially now, putting your mouth. But this, these are sanitized. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the pin trick now with the braid. So I'm wrapping the end of the braid. Hopefully, you guys can see. I'll put it closer. I'm wrapping the end of the braid um, with a little piece of the hair from the end. And I'm going to stick a pin through the rubber band, just straight like that. Then take the end. This is kind of hard to teach on camera. <laughs> You're going to take another pin and pull the ends through that hairpin. Make sure you hold it tight still. So hopefully you can see that. Now it's through the pin. I'm just going to pull the pin down. And it's going to pull the ends through so you don't have any bobby pin or anything. It just stays. And there it is. So cool. Super cute. I'm still painting. I'm tucking this hair into the braid so it hides it, okay? And then pin this. And then, I love using hairpins. Thank you. I feel like, do consumers use hairpins ever? No. I feel like they're so underrated. Because you can really secure the hair really well with the hairpin and it doesn't create any kind of dents, you know? Yeah. I'm just spraying some hairspray to secure my number seven. So not too much, too much hold, but... I'm using number seven too, eventually. Yeah, it's a good thing. So I usually have a smaller bobby pins, but these are going to be a little bit bigger. And that just helps to... Hide these little guys. Okay, so it blends in with the hairline so it won't get so, I guess, sparse. So uh, just like that. And then I'll spray it and then I'll take it out. So same thing with this side too. But this time around, I'm going to use hairpins because this one's a little bit tighter. Or you know what's really cool too? If you guys have any like wow color, like something that covers your scalp, you know, that would be cool too. I um, love that. Eyeshadow would work as well. Yeah, if you don't have anything, put eyeshadow on it. It just then, and, or sometimes I just pull the hair that sits on top a little bit higher, so you can't see it. Okay, um, I'm pretty much almost done. I'm not Me rushing. Too. I'm just. You too. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of finishing off her little front pieces. Same. Well, no. I'm doing the back. <laughs> <laughs> Same but different. Same but different. <laughs> so let's say that if you do want to enhance these, the pony a little bit more, um, I would say maybe take a curling iron and just like wave it a little bit. So I'm going to do that. 
but I saw something right here that needs to be hide. So I'm just gonna hide this really quick. So that's why hairpins are great because if you were to you know hide something, you, all you have to do is just take this and then pull into the hair and then tuck it and then just, just pin it. Not onto her scalp, but <laughs> away from her scalp, okay? Good thing she's not yelling because I probably think I just did put it into her scalp, but sorry. <laughs> sorry, Vanessa. So I'm gonna take an inch and a half, okay? And you can either do a certain couple, couple things. I'm gonna pin this out of the way. So I can do this is when I wish I have like four hands. <laughs> that would be so nice and helpful. <laughs> four arms, not four hands. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a little new wave on her. Just like this. Turn her this way. So y'all can see. Okay. I'm just detailing the ends here as well with the flat iron. Just kind of waving them a little bit because they're a little crispy. Right, so it looks like this. All right. And my temperature for her is like 400, 450. <laughs> <laughs> At home, don't do that. Brushes out. Um, you can definitely do this with a flat iron. So I'm going to do this with a Marcel. And then the top part, I would do a flat iron. So you can show you guys how to do this. It's very easy because all you have to do is just like wave the ponytail. I'm going to do it a little higher so you, all, you guys can see. Ooh, that looks so good. Thanks, Nina. Yeah. A dada. <laughs> all right, comb this through. And again, I'm not looking for like perfect waves. I just want to give it a little more def definition to it. I mean, we can even take it a step further and put it into a bun. Thank you so much. That would be super cute. Yeah, that would be really cool. I'm pretty much done. Here's my model, Sasha. Looking very beachy and textured. <laughs> wow, Nina. Gorgeous. So, uh, so here's a little braid area. It's kind of like bubbly. And then imagine this is like thick <laughs> and a few inches longer. I think it would be super cute. Extensions. Yeah. Extensions. She does have extensions in, don't tell anyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. Hope she didn't pay too much. Wow. All right, I'm waiting for this to warm up really quickly. There you go. So. That was a cute little noise. Just gonna enhance these waves a tiny bit more. So with the flat iron, you can do that. Okay, and then she has a lot of hair, so I just wanna make sure that this is All right, just like that. I actually love doing the new wave with the flat iron. It's like one of my favorite things to do now. <laughs> really? Yes. Never would have I thought kinda... I heard you say that. I know, I haven't <laughs> the, the Marcel in a while. It's all about just a flat iron, just because, I don't know, it's just easy. And you got that cool new toy. 
Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it saves your forearm. <laughs> it does. I bet. <laughs> Maybe I, this, so when I need a workout, I, then I take out my Marcel and be like, okay, I need a workout. Whenever you want to feel your carpal tunnel, you just take the Marcel back out. <laughs> yeah. And you just feel like. Noted. Cute. Oh, that's so, so cute. Nina, someone's wondering how many braids you did in total. Uh, just two. I separated the ponytail that I did in half and braided the um, each half. And then I just pulled it out. So it, it kind of looks like more because it's all um, bubbly and pulled out, which is the effect that I wanted. <laughs> so Hi. now I'm just going to finish off with the hairspray number seven because it's more of a flexible, it's a strong hold, but it has a little more of a flexible um, hold to it. Oh, I might redefine these guys too. I'm gonna do that. So the back's pretty much done. And just like smooth these guys out a little bit more. Spray some on the bottom, spray on this. Okay, and then I wanna take a brush Just into it, just to form all the waves together. Cool. She's a pony. Well, she's not a pony, but she's <laughs> pony fellas. It could be. She might be. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna do some new waves in the front as well. So, so there you go. Up so high. Sit down with you guys. Cool. All right, so do the same with us. I want to make the front a little more defined. I'm taking my sweet. She has such a small face, but it's actually super cute. Kind of a big forehead. It's okay though. <laughs> <laughs> They say pretty girls have big foreheads. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. I never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt's gorgeous. <laughs> I, have a I have a huge forehead. That's why I wear my hair forward. <laughs> Me too. I was relating earlier when you're like, oh, if you're thinning, like at the, <laughs> at your hairline, you should put more hair down. I was like, yes, yes. Yeah. Just, just so it covers, you know. Uh, mine is from Pivot Point, so I get these. I, I love these doll heads. The Pivot Point doll heads are like um, environmentally they they made really, really well, and they're very important. Like the, it's just the fact that it has like um, all these recycling um, and and I guess and what is it? What can I say? besides recycling thing, but it's about um, environmentally really friendly. Yeah, yeah, environmentally friendly, especially the factories and stuff, so. <clears throat> Somebody's wondering how you like the Dyson straightener. I dig it. I mean, that's the only thing I've ever been using. I like the fact that it's cordless, so. I am a nerd about technology. I love cordless stuff, but when it has like, you know, um, and it heats up really quickly. I can't wait for you to try it, Nina. So it's cool. blowing my mind. <laughs> uh, it's so dope. I mean, so cool. There's so many great flat irons out there, but this one is just like bomb, you know. So, <clears throat> so this is my finished look. Is she? Hey, oh. <laughs> 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 so yeah, she's she's ready. She's ready. Where's she going? She's ready. The grocery store. <laughs> She's ready for the grocery store. She's ready for the living room. She's ready. So, um, and Nina, can, did you do a twirl? Bring out the dot head. Can you twirl for us? Yeah. Okay, let me move this. Here's the bag. We'll start at the back. More Love. Part. Oh, you have pieces in the front too. Just little ones. I wanted to do a little more, but her hair is so long, it kind of looked funny, but 
Okay. Yeah, of course, you guys can do your own spin on either of these. Yes. Um, that was really fun, Nina. I, um, I can't wait to do more styling. So we're going to keep on doing styling with, um, I think, Daniel next week. And then you're the year after Daniel. The following, so yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in this Saturday morning. And um, thank you, Nina, for hanging out with me. And thank I you for having tremendously. me. Tremendously. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, um, hopefully. Yes, I know. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye. Be Thank safe. you. Bye. Bye.